Hello and welcome back to more Mega Man X3 Blind, and in this episode we're going to be taking on another Maverick, but to start with, I would kindly like to go back into the stage just to check to see if things have changed now to defeat that Maverick, because I don't know, just curiosity and being safe, I guess? I don't know, let's have a check. I've just realised something, if I shoot this, at this, can this break it after a while? It probably can't, but you know, whatever. Okay, so you know what's really caught my attention? This damn weather thing. I destroyed it, but then just progressed on. I wonder what happens if I go back. Alright, um... It looks like this was all not worth it at all, because that hasn't really changed anything. Well, never mind then. Progressing on. Wait a minute. Oh my god. Do you know what? Do you know what? I am a blimmin' idiot. Because... I can probably wall jump? Like, hmm, no. <laughs> that doesn't work either. Nothing works! Alright, so I'm back. I'm choosing another Maverick. One thing I don't really like, um, is that, you know, with X1 and X2, whenever you selected some of the Mavericks, you had, like, a name, as well as, like, some sort of description. This is literally just judging them by the icon and one picture of the stage. So this makes things a bit harder for me, but whatever. I suppose it's more of a challenge, isn't it? Right, so, which one should I go for next? So X1 flashbacks are calling to me. I remember when I first got the thing from Chill Penguin, the next thing that most likely had that weakness was Spark Mandrill. And the thing that is really close to it is this thing right here. So, out of my own mind and dumbness, I'm probably gonna go for this, and I bet you now it's gonna be the wrong one, isn't it? Well, let's just see how this one goes. Tunnel Rhino! Oh wow. Yeah, it is kind of similar like Spark Mandrill. Actually, no. Armored Armadillo. Come on to think of it. Especially the stage! Looks like the outside version of it, that's for sure. Right, anyway, gotta keep up my toes and see how this one goes. A giant rock thing over there. With this thing that can just fall down and try to kill me. Lemonek. Every enemy in this is a threat. Like Jesus. Wow. I kind of like that though. Because it just makes me feel like I need to be more focused in this series. Because I do feel like, though, with the other Mega Man games, like, sure, I had to be really focused in order to take them out. This one is definitely, like, keep at it. Or else you will die. Like, even on the slightest bit of a hit. I can't quite get up there, though, at the minute. So I'll probably just make my way downwards. Why are the ladders so big? Like, jeez. They're really enlarged compared to the other ones. The other ones were quite thin and actually thick fitted around, you know, Mega Man's body and everything, but these are, like, really, really fat. It's not really a problem with the game or anything, it's just I'm like, why are these so damn big? It's really, really weird. I don't want to really want to talk too much, though, because stuff like that happens. Okay, right, here we go. This time, let's just jump past it like that. There we go, that was much, much better than the one before. I will be kind of glad, though, or at least should I say I am really glad that with the X Legacy Collections, they're now released on a lot of platforms. Like, even Switch, and that's preferably the one that I did pick it up on, mainly just because playing Mega Man X on the go is great. It does not mean, however, I'm going to play the X games that I haven't played in my spare time. Because I am kind of debating if after X3, I, whether I should do X4 or not. Since it is kind of regarded as, to most people, the best one in the series next to the first game. So I feel like really after X3, I... Maybe I want to do X4, considering it's on the PlayStation as well, considering it's going to give like a whole completely different look to how I'm used to Mega Man, because, you know, all the ones that I've played for Mega Man and that are on the Super Nintendo, so I get the feeling that when that thing falls down, it's going to kill me? Is it going to come down? Let me guess, I'm going to have to be on frame for this, right? Oh, actually, wait, I could just do that, couldn't I? But that bit up there looks suspicious. Is it something I could go up? No, unfortunately not. I also played Mega Man 11. That was pretty fun, but I can't really say if it's as good as the NES games, because the only one that I've literally played, even to this day, is Mega Man 2. And I remember talking about this, actually, in X Blind. And even less there, so I've not played all the others, so I have no idea what I'm doing with my life half the time. Anyway, I would like to kindly go up here like that and grab a sub-tank. That's nice. That is really, really helpful. Okay, now then. Let's see, if I just... I was hoping to fall in between them in order to, to take them out, but that's fine. Right. There's a whole bunch of crystals as well. Like, I don't know, every stage so far gives me a lot of vibes for X2. I mean, X1 is partially there, but it's more closer to the second one, that's for sure. 
which I suppose it would be because I did collect more ideas and stuff from that game, didn't I? And there's nothing here either? Really? None of a sort? Okay. Maybe then, because I played a zero, if I go through the stage again a zero, that's the boss that I fight? I don't know, only time will tell for that side of things. And that animation down there, wow, that is really, really cool. I often like it when sometimes frame rates change for those side of things, because it just adds a lot more, I don't know, just an artistic feel, really. It's kind of like that, you know, where you look at the background of a Genesis and you see, like, a waterfall going down. And you see that the frames are really low? I don't know, it just fits everything. I'm a, I'm a keen guy when it comes to aesthetic these days. That, and I'm just weird. That's for sure. Okay, cool. So, how big are these stages, I wonder? Because I feel like, really, Blizzard Buffalo was really small. Like, I even think in the first Mega Man game, when I fight against Spark Mandrill, actually, the whole stage was lengthy enough that I was just kind of really, really small, in my opinion. Alright. Now I'm gonna have to be careful in order to go about that, aren't I? Is it gonna fall again? Hello? Maybe not. Okay, fine, I'm just gonna dash by. Cool. I wonder how hard, though, the actual Maverick's gonna be. Hopefully not too bad. And it'll really be- oh! Whoops. It'll really be a good test to see if I did choose the right one, because I have, of course, this. Which I haven't used in any enemies yet, but I kind of like to just use my Maverick Buster! Blimmin' A button again! Wow! You know, if this gets too annoying, I might actually change the button configuration. Because it's kind of a bit finicky. Okay, this time jump out of the way. Good. Now, yeah, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. And... Nah, there's nothing there. Hmm, okay. It's worth a try at least. Oh my god. No way. So, let's see. Okay, let's go up this one carefully. Can I destroy this one by any chance? Because it's kind of tied on stuff, isn't it? I can wall jump off of it, though. Um... Hmm. I'm wondering. I also need something to break it, right? Yeah, because if I use this, that does not seem to do anything, unless... Hmm. Nah, that's too risky. What I was thinking just then is I could just dash off of this and try to land on there and then try to go beneath it, but really, I think the idea is I'm going to have to destroy this. Right? Okay, how many lives have I got? Zero. Not even worth it. <laughs> I'm just going to go on ahead, because trying to get through more of the stage is really better, if you ask me. There's a lot of stuff though that's going to be in my mind when I'm trying to play this. Like, hopefully I'm not going to forget the stuff that I've found, because I, I have a habit of doing that with certain games. Oh, right. Cool. <laughs> I did wonder, because it was a wall that I slide down, I thought... Okay, I don't want to just fall all the way down there, because it's bound to be a bottomless pit. Because that's just the way this game is. Right. And I have a sub-tank, don't I? Yeah, I don't... I do, but I don't have much of it. And this is the bus. Uh, oh no, 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 it's one of these ones, is it? Okay. Um, is this one that I have to destroy normally? Yes, it is. Got it. Now then, how to avoid this guy's attacks? I'm probably not really going to get much time to learn anything, am I? <laughs> nope. In fact, that was kind of weird hit detection right there, because it was literally nowhere near me, but it touched me for some reason? Whatever. Right. Hold on, wait. Did I go through this way? I didn't, and it's a heart tank. Okay, Obliviousness Alert number one. Pay attention, because I, for some reason, just went over to the left. Okay, how am I supposed to get this one then? Can I destroy that? Yeah, it's kind of obvious then, because I did see this one before, and currently I don't have anything in order to get rid of that, right? No. Well, that's a shame. At least I know to come back here later, though. I get the feeling there is sound, but because I'm listening to this uh, through headphones, I can't really hear that very well. Alright, okay. So let's see, it charges at me like this, on the way. I thought of an idea then. Right, let's go. Wow. Let's go by like this. Yeah, because every time he hits the wall on that, he does that, doesn't he? Okay, I found an exploit. Just keep doing this, and then you will prevail, because he literally does not do any other attacks. What is this? What? <laughs> I'm literally just going to keep this up then, because that's the only way in order to get this guy down. Oops. Apart from that... Um... Oh, I did it! What is going on? I don't even know! I don't know I found that, but never mind. And my face is clipped to the left. Right, so what did that do? It got me some health! Cool. Well, that's at least something, isn't it? Can I go back? 
I can't. Okay, now with that one destroyed, does that mean it's gone for good? Or is it something that I'm gonna have to keep destroying every now and then? It's another one of use. Actually, these things aren't too bad because uh, it's always just the last ones that throw me off. Okay, right. And that thing came out of nowhere. Jesus, right. I'm actually having more of a hard time on the enemies than the actual boss. So that doesn't really make any sense, does it? Uh, oh well. Right. Okay, watch what they do. And. Okay, they bounce all over the place. Got it? Cool. I want to observe then and just be certain what I do is good. And also, I've got to remember, when I hop onto the walls, I can just shoot this way, can't I? In order to take them out, so that's even better. Okay. Sub tank? I'm not quite going to use it just yet. So I really want to be careful because I got this thing. It's probably not going to do anything. Good. Could you not do that? That would be nice. Oh no, but it's one of these, isn't it? Okay, right. Stay on my toes. Apart from that part. Hmm. I think that's all of it so far. Right, this isn't so bad. Those rock enemies, though, are kind of very easy. I was expecting more of a challenge for those. What is that thing doing up there? Wow. That's something, isn't it? Hmm. Well, upwards or downwards? Probably up, because I don't want to take any chances. That is most likely a bottomless pit. Why would you put an enemy there like that? That's so cruel. But never mind, at least I got past it. Right. <laughs> uh, but I mean, this is a, an emotional roller coaster, this LP, isn't it? With me trying to get through this bloody stage and just game in general. This is going to be one thrill ride, though. Alright. Now then. Uh, how many lives do I have? Two! Yeah, because I think I died once. I can't actually remember. Anyway. Let's just go on then and see who we get. So, really getting to the actual Maverick itself is not that bad. I'm pretty sure I'll be fine with this then. Oh my god, look at you! Right, this time, pay attention to what the bloody hell the thing does. So let's see, I'm probably going to switch over to my Frost and try this out. So let's see, is it his weakness? Uh, no, it doesn't look like it because there's no flinching and stuff going on. I noticed that was a thing with the other ones. Is this literally all you're going to do? That cannot be it! Please tell me that's not all you do! If so, then that's not a challenge! Like, Jesus, this is all just about trying to be quick, really. We're trying to not dig damage. Yeah, this is... This is all this guy does. I'm actually down with that, though, because then at least I get to destroy it. Why did you just switch the position? Oh, my God, what are you doing now? That's not good. Okay, I have no idea what that was just now. But it, either way, right, okay. Now then, jump by it like this. Good. Oh, man, so close. Nearly for the first time. Oh, well, at least I got the hang of it. Oh, and I just spawn right back here, don't I? Whoops. I was literally going to pause it and then cut it out. Right. Bring it on. Round two. Since I have, like, literally, um, two more lives. Can I do it? Uh, probably, yeah. Because <laughs> this guy does not seem to do anything else, does he? Oh, wow, he does do extra damage. It's kind of randomized. Jesus, what? Why was he doing the same stuff before? Maybe it depends on the position that I land. Because if I just land all the way over to the left... Maybe that's what causes it? Yeah, I thought so, because I just landed there right now, and he didn't really do anything, did he? Okay, now then. Do that, good. Can you jump this way? Man, I don't even know the pattern to this guy. <laughs> he just kind of does whatever the hell he wants. Okay, right, now then. Go through, good. And then, right, so now let's pay attention to what he does. Just jump through like that, got it, okay. Anytime he fires those, just jump out of the way. Feel like we're getting somewhere. Okay, and now jump! Good! Okay, we're nearly done. Can I do it? The question is... Um... Probably not. <laughs> I have no faith at all, do I? Right, okay, that's another Maverick down. That was actually quite fun. Because <laughs> all we literally did was charge from the left to the right, and only kind of randomized all of his moves with all the things that he fired at me. I don't mind that. That's pretty cool. And that's another Maverick down and dusted. Blimineck. It's a shame I didn't choose the right one with the weakness, but eh, whatever. Live and learn. Wait, what is going on now? Oh, it's another one of these. So, what wireframe power-up is this that I just got? I get... Another one of these missile things. Tornado Fang. Ooh, does that mean I can drill through stuff now? Because I saw a whole bunch of blocks in that blizzard stage. Oh, wait, what's going on now? What? Yeah, I'm not put into this immediately, am I? Okay, a Doppler. 
Here is the Maverick Hunter I failed to catch last time. I had no idea he is so powerful. Bitten bite! Bit bib who? Bitten by oh my goodness. Wow. He looks like a different version of Sigma to the left. Bring that Maverick Hunter to me, alive if possible. Affirmative, Dr. Doppler. Well, we're in deep trouble. Oh my god, it's vile! Mysterious Maverick. Alive, Dr. Doppler. You are so kind. Watch your mouth, or I'll put you back where I found you. Even with your enhancements, you are still no match for me. Uh, Mysterious Maverick, thanks for the upgrade, Doctor, but I have a score to settle. And I'll do it my way. Fine, just make sure you do it. I still can't believe that Maverick Hunter defeated my master twice in the past. I see. And your, um, your master, I assume, was Sigma, right? Is that what you're referring to? Well, never password done, never Maverick done, and this marks another end of Mega Man X3 for an episode. In the next episode of Mega Man X3 Brind. Brind? Yeah. Mega Man X3 Brind? I'm gonna be choosing the Maverick, as per usual, and I'm probably gonna plan it and decide what to do next. So take care, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I will see you in the next one.